All right, well, beginning this Thursday, July 26th, the Inyo National Forest will begin fuels reduction work south of the town of Mammoth Lakes. About 51 acres of Inyo National Forest land. Goal of the treatments is to protect human life and property by reducing potential fire severity. Now, the press release from the International National Forest states that fuels work will include the mastication or the mowing of shrubs to alter the fuels profile and structure, which will reduce potential fire severity and create defensible space for firefighters to operate. Now, the project area begins at the propane tanks near the Sherwin Creek Road, generally follows the roads and the meadow trail connector south and west, ending immediately to the south of Snow Creek 5. Work will be conducted using a deck mower to cut manzanita, sagebrush, bitter brush, as well as other woody plants. Fuels reduction will be completed using a mosaic approach, which will leave approximately 25% of the shrubs in place to maintain the vegetation's aesthetic character. Now, the metal trail connector is within the project area, and in order to reduce the impact on the trail, and your national forest employees are working with Mammoth Lakes Trail System to ensure operations are not detrimental to the trail. It is anticipated that a buffer of 30 to 50 feet of unmowed area will be left in place around the trail. The current trail prism will be cleaned by the United States Forest Service, Mammoth Lakes Trail System, and Cal Fire crews following mowing operations. Now, the press release says while the forest will attempt to reduce the negative impacts of shrub mowing on aesthetics, Temporary impacts will be present. It's anticipated that one to two years following mowing operations, native grasses will rebound and occupy the site. This has occurred in other similar fuel breaks completed by the Inyo National Forest, including the area along Mammoth Creek Road, and is anticipated to have a similar result in the current project area. All right, let's go to our next segment of the Mammoth Lakes Fourth of July Parade. A little uh, change of drivers there, maybe. A little uh, switching it up. Here she comes. I think they're looking for the next gas station. All right. Keeping it safe. Keeping it sane. Staying out of the middle lane. Eastern Sierra Four-Wheel Drive Club right there. Keeping their distance a little bit, keeping it peaceful, quiet. I like the tread lightly policy. They're not nearly as loud as the desert drifters, are they? I think they just deliberately let that pause happen. Or they ran out of gas, I don't know. <laughs> I like the patriotic flags on that Jeep, though. That's very nice. And that one. That's a classic Jeep. That's probably about a 70s, maybe. we just talked to one of our great uh, members of CERT, the uh, volunteers that help out here in the Eastern Sierra. Uh, as you can see, uh, now barriers on Main Street for this parade. Uh, before, it was pretty much a free-for-all, and uh, people squirting, people on the floats, and apparently some locals are a little upset that you can't do that this year. I say put on your big boy pants and stop your whining! Yeah, then there's that whole, let me think, liability issue. Yeah. Hey, we got black tie ski rentals right here. Yeah, there they are. Black tie yeah. ski rentals, the premier ski and snowboard shop that comes to you. Don't waste time in long rental lines when you can have your skis delivered to your accommodations. Book your appointment ahead of time or visit the walk-in location on Old Mammoth Road. What a great new business in Mammoth over the last several years, Black Tie Ski Rentals. Happy 4th of July. Love Black Tie. BlackTieSkis.com. 
There's Jeremy Goyko right there. He's not in Shakespeare in the Woods yet, but we're trying to draft him. Nicely done, guys. BlackTieSkis.com. Be there. You know, a wheelie would have been nice. Okay, what? I'll bite. Oh, a wheelie. Okay. All right, here we go. We stay away from religion and politics on our radio show, but all right. Mono County Democratic Central Committee. Chuck Scatellini, go. You know how the Declaration of Independence actually begins? In Congress. Assembled July 4th, 1776. You know, those people stood up at that time and told England where they could go. You gotta have people standing up. These people made a parade float and they're here. It's the, it's the Democratic Central Committee, the Mono County Central Committee. It's the gateway to getting involved. Mono County Democratic Central Committee drives the frontline efforts of the California Democratic Party, registering and educating voters, protecting the right to vote, and working to elect candidates who will fight for American democratic values in local, state, and federal government. And I'd like to point out that the word democratic was not capitalized. It meant everyone. Give it to uh, Disabled Sports Eastern Sierra there, Scott. Oh, it's Kathy on a bicycle with a little short skirt. Hi, Kathy Copeland. Disabled Sports Eastern Sierra pedaling through on their adaptive bikes. Disabled Sports Eastern Sierra provides year-round adaptive sports to everyone with special needs. Support Disabled Sports Eastern Sierra. Shop at the Second Chance Thrift Shop. That's on Old Mammoth Road. Get some great deals for your home, wardrobe, outdoor adventures, and you're helping out Disabled Sports Eastern Sierra. Great folks. Yeah, that's a an ever-expanding organization in our community that does so much good for so many people. Wounded Warriors, for example. And don't forget that one of the goals of the uh, Disabled Sports Eastern Sierra is to create a Wounded Warrior Center right here in Mammoth Lakes. So anything you can do to help Eastern Sierra Sport. Disabled Sports will go for that and many other good you causes. Ma you make a donation and you get a personal phone call from Kathy Copeland pretty much every time. That's how invested she is into it. Disabled Sports Eastern Sierra, one of the finest organizations of heaven. Hope everybody's having a good time here on the 4th of July Parade, Mammoth Lakes. I want to thank Jessica Kennedy right here, Mammoth Lakes Chamber. She put all this together and has organized it and done a great job. Nicely done, Jessica. And we get to blame her for the worldwide Facebook connection partly as well, don't well, we, do we not? We're going to be huge in Hong Kong, Huge, Scott. huge. I mean, we're going to have billboards in Hong Kong after they see us here. I can feel it. I, I know at least one word in Chinese. Chopsticks? A chopstick, a mushu gai pan, something, I don't know. All right, Eastern Sierra Conservation Corps. Here are the members of the Eastern Sierra Conservation Corps Wildlands Technical Trail Crew. Working all summer down at Devil's Post Pile, hot and sweaty, dusty and hard work, making sure the trails are beautiful for everyone who visits and lives in the Eastern Sierra. Give it up for Eastern Sierra Conservation Corps. They're working hard out there. I want to point out that Chuck uh, ad-libbed that uh, hot and sweaty. Boy, we always have a great time at the Mammoth Lakes 4th of July Parade. A few more segments remaining in coming broadcast. We'll be back with Weather Report.